India's missing military pilot is back home and people are celebrating on the streets. Abhinandan Vartaman's fighter jet crashed in Pakistan-administered Kashmir on Wednesday after being shot at by Pakistan's air force. Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan ordered his release as a goodwill gesture, which was welcomed by New Delhi. It's the only story in town, yet the government's message is clear. Pakistan is not off the hook. In the past 24 hours, there's been ongoing shelling in the Kashmir region. In Indian-administered Kashmir, officials claim three members of one family were reported to have been killed in the Poonch area. At six in the evening, Pakistan started firing and shelling. The shelling was going on for about three hours. One of the shells fired by Pakistan hit the house in which three members of a family were killed, including two innocent children. 50 kilometers away in Uri, civilians were moved to temporary accommodation after coming under heavy shelling from Pakistan's forces. The suicide bombing that killed more than 40 paramilitaries last month prompted the latest escalation in violence in the disputed Kashmir territory. It's one of the worst attacks in decades. An armed group operating from inside Pakistan claimed responsibility. India's foreign minister, speaking at the Organization of Islamic Conference in Abu Dhabi as its guest of honor, was clear about her country's approach to terror groups. They have to go. Uh, Hindu nationalism, which is this newspaper by, editor uh, says the government is keen to play a bigger role on the international stage. They want to be part of the process of decision-making in the Muslim world because if, if, if you are there on the high table, then you can uh, influence things and also their main uh, uh, objective will be to, to, to somehow sideline Pakistan and, uh, and to uh, somehow uh, assume uh, a kind of leading role in the Muslim world. India is heading towards a general election. In 2014, the issue of relations with Pakistan was not high on the election campaign agenda. And with weeks to go just before that data is announced, politicians are trying to work out how to internationally isolate Pakistan while domestically build consensus that would help them win the election. Sahil Rahman, Al Jazeera, New Delhi.